chirp. In a stunning display of instinct and cooperation, the adult Platyosaurus begin to move, not to flee, but to defend their young. holds firm. Defeated in its direct assaults, the Postasus changes tactics, letting out a frustrated bellow. It begins to circle wider. This single act of defiance galvanizes the rest of the herd. It gives one last, frustrated hiss, more out of wounded pride than aggression. The most perilous phase begins, moving the newborns. An adult female carefully lowers her head.
The world they now inhabit is alive with other creatures. With their immediate needs met and a sense of security restored, the youngest members of the pack finally have a chance to simply be young. To sustain their growing numbers, the matriarch leads the herd further down the valley into a previously unexplored grove. From her vantage point, the matriarch finally sees them. The herd now forages with an air of complete ownership, confidently venturing to the very edges of the valley. The first hint of a new, immense danger arrives not as a sound or a sight, but as a feeling. Days later, the sign becomes undeniable. A strange, urgent energy overtakes the herd. Their calm foraging transforms into a frantic, almost desperate feasting. From the swirling ash, new, skittish shapes emerge. A small pack of Colophis have also been driven from their territory by the eruption. The attack is a chaotic eruption of confusion. The subadult bellows more in surprise than pain. their bond tested in a life or death moment. Next, the urgent need for food. We witness the circle of life in action. The new matriarch patiently guides a group of tiny hatchlings, using- 